Hello, everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of the Devil May Cry HD Collection. Yay! So I've decided to play something else next to the Witcher 3 DLC because I wanted to have some more variety on my channel. I can understand that the Witcher 3 is taking quite a long time at the moment. Um, it's a long game, and I also had a long break in between. So I thought I wanted to spice things up a little bit and add Devil May Cry to the list. Uh, because Devil May Cry is actually really easy to record. Because the game consists out of missions. So I can simply just upload the missions um, as episodes. But there's also another reason, and that is that Devil May Cry 5 has been announced at the E3 on the Microsoft conference. And I'm really excited about that because we have been waiting for this game for 10 years. Um, Devil May Cry 4 came out in 2008. Then the reboot came in between, but I don't really count that as a Devil May Cry game. I saw it as a separate game than this because it didn't follow this exact universe. So it's been 10 years and now they finally treated us to a delicious, amazing looking trailer. And I'm really excited about what things are going on in there. So, in order to get ready for Devil May Cry 5 next year in March, I've decided to get back into the first Devil May Cry games since it's been a while. But also since I've never really played part 1 and 2. I've always skipped it because I always started with Devil May Cry 3 and then for some reason I just didn't touch 1 and 2 anymore. So we're gonna do that finally. We're gonna dive into 1 and 2. Eventually. Because I'm actually gonna start with the Devil May Cry 3 first. Um, because there are two reasons. The first is... It is simply the very first game I've played from Devil May Cry, and it is also my favorite. So it would be good to get back into the action and, yeah, just enjoy the whole game again like I did back then. But this game is actually also the very first game of the universe. Um, you would think it starts with one, but Devil May Cry 3 is actually the prequel um, to Devil May Cry 1. And the order of this world is 3, 1, 4, 5, and then comes 2. And then the reboot is completely separate. It has a different type of story, even though it does borrow the characters Dante and Virgil. So that's why we're going to start with Devil May Cry 3. I'm really looking forward to playing it again. It's actually been a few years. So I'm new to this again. But you either hate this or love it. The game is actually quite over the top. The characters are over the top with whatever they do. Um, especially Dante. Um, so, a few notes before I press the new game. Um, this obviously won't be a blind uh, let's play. I've played through this game multiple times. Uh, but it's been a while, so it could be I forgot about a few things. But at least this will be a different type of let's play because I simply won't have any responses to what is happening in the story Instead, this is gonna be a little bit more inform. No, I don't want to watch that New game. There we go Instead, it's gonna be more informative about um, things that are going on in the game It really does depend. It's actually the first time I'm doing a let's play like this But at least I won't be saying any spoilers. If you're not familiar with this game, I'm not going to tell you what will happen at the end of the game. That's not what I'm going to do. I will focus on the mission I'm working on. Next to that, I'm not the best Devil May Cry player, even though I've played it multiple times. I'm not one with a high rank. So if you're looking for a really stylish let's play, that's not me. You got to look somewhere else. But if you're looking for a Devil May Cry fan playing through this game, then this definitely will be um, a let's play for you. And we're not going to turn on the tutorial. We're going to turn that off. And then we have some options, gold and yellow. At first you're probably thinking, what the hell does this mean? Yellow, if you die, you restart the last checkpoint. Whenever you have a yellow orb, 
You have to use that. You have to have that in your inventory in order to use it. If you don't, you've got to replay the whole level. For some levels, it's not too bad, but some levels can be really long and tedious. So then it is quite the extra challenge to it. At least the yellow one is more hardcore because you've got to restart the whole mission if you screw up somewhere. So of course we're gonna pick this option. We're gonna go for yellow. <laughs> So, I hope you will enjoy this. We're gonna start with the intro. You've heard of it, haven't you? The legend of Sparta? When I was young, my father would tell me stories about it. Long ago, in ancient times, a demon rebelled against his own kind for the sake of the human race. With his sword, he shut the portal to the demonic realm and sealed the evil entities off from our human world. But since he was a demon himself, his power was also trapped on the other side. I never believed it. I thought it was just a child's fairy tale. But I discovered that this so-called legend wasn't a myth at all. Sparta existed. How do I know? Well, I met the sons of Sparta. Both of them. Though the same blood of their father flowed through their veins, the two battled each other fiercely like arch enemies. It seemed as if they derived some sort of twisted pleasure from this brotherly fighting. This is what I meant with over the top. <laughs> Sorry, not open for business yet. <laughs> I haven't even picked a name for this joint, and I'm already getting calls. You a customer too? <laughs> well, if you want to use the bathroom, Help yourself. The toilet's in the back. Is your name Dante? Son of Sparta? Where did you hear that? From your brother. He sent this invitation for you. Please. What invitation? Huh? understand how he can just disappear like that. Where the hell did he go? <laughs> Invitation, huh? No one's gonna touch my pizza.
This party's getting crazy. Let's rock. It's also a way to turn on the radio. Some of these moves are actually in game as well. Except for that, you can't do that sadly. To use the environment. I don't get why he would just slice his pool table like that. It would only cost you extra money. You've just started your shop, so you need the money. Alright, we're gonna start with customize. And we actually have to decide on the style we want to use. So Trickster is basically a dash. You dash away quickly like in most games you have nowadays. Swordmaster will be an additional sword skill that you have to use with the circle button. Gunslinger, like the word already says, you use your guns instead uh, when you use the circle button. And Royal Guard is basically <laughs> used to guard against attacks. Um, a lot of, I believe, a lot of skilled players um, really do enjoy the Royal Guard. I've seen some playthroughs of people going through the missions who primarily use that to rank up the stylish points, but I myself am not really good to use this. So I think when we have to decide this, we're going for the, yeah, the, the trickster. Then also you can equip weapons, well obviously we only have one so far, so we can't equip anything yet. You've got your items, we've got a vital star, which um, just refills a little bit of your HP bar. This fills a lot, a lot more. Devil Star will come later into play. I'm not gonna mention that yet. Holy Water. This Holy Water can fend off demons. It severely damages nearby enemies. I hardly use this one, so I didn't remember this one. A blue orb actually increases your HP. As you see on top, it will add an additional one. Purple orb will do something too. And the yellow orb is really needed when you don't want to die and restart the mission. So I probably will be stocking up on some just in case. But of course if you're going for a high stylish rank or a high rank overall in your mission, you want to avoid using the yellow orb because that will hurt you. As well as any item you use. Action, you've got a few skills, but we still need to purchase it, which is a shame because these are just amazing to use, especially air hike. And the guns, um, these are already, they do just one thing, you just simply can upgrade them in firepower. And that was it for the customization, we can't do much yet. Let's start the mission, we're gonna dive immediately into gameplay. So hopefully we will do well. It is actually a tutorial mission to do right now. To get familiar with the enemies with the gameplay. So let's get started. I gotta remember to dodge immediately. We dodge. Okay. So these are the enemies for now. And when you're playing and defeat an enemy, you will get red orbs. Which is basically the currency in this game. This is how you pay for your stylish... Um, Stylish upgrades, um, for items, for blue warps, stuff like that. This is what you need. And you will get a lot during a mission, actually. Um, they will always be there. Ah, I got hit already! I wanted a no damage run. Okay, 
to be fair, there aren't really a lot of moves to do yet. So if you want a really high ranking, that is kind of impossible in a very first mission without any of the weapons. There are probably some people who manage to th do this well, but I can't really do this. <laughs> I'm not, I really have to get used to the game again. Especially this one. This one is really annoying. You can also taunt. And that will kind of upgrade uh, your stylish rank. Uh, right now I'm at all right. Of course, we want it as high as possible. I doubt that's gonna be a lot higher than this because I keep on using the same moves over and over. And we really want this one dead because he's the only one of the enemies who can dash away towards you. He's the dangerous one. And I think when you do the correct timing, um, that's when also the trickster gives you some ranking points. Oh god, I'm so bad right now. I don't know what I'm doing. It just sucks that you can't switch weapon yet. You're stuck with these. Oh, I dodged. Ugh. Okay, well, this is the tutorial for a reason. You start learning the... All these things again. So... This was it. And he just started his shop and it's already falling apart. Sad start. But hey, at least this pizza's still here. I can already tell. Looks like this is gonna be one hell of a party! Oh yeah, it's gonna be a hell of a party. Ugh, so here's my uh, ranking. At least we didn't do too bad on the time and the orbs, but the stylus points is really bad. Uh, and the damage I took as well. The less damage you get, the higher rank you have. There are actually multiple ranks. Uh, you've got D, which is the lowest. Then you get C, B, A, S. But there's also possibility to get an S, S rank. At least when you have everything on S, you definitely guaranteed have an S, S rank. But I'm just not entirely sure if you also get an S, S rank when you have one A left. Ah, so we'll have to do with it B rank. Okay, so you're automatically playing a normal mode, and if you fail too often, the game basically tells you that you need to go back to easy mode. That's how bad they are. <laughs> they do say that Devil May Cry 3 is one of the hardest games from the first three games, um, but I've also heard from people that part one is also difficult with a few bosses, so I'm not entirely sure what is true. I think it just depends on personal experience. All right, we're going to continue with mission two.